We're in Inverness, the capital of the Scottish Highlands, where thousands of people have come to take part in the Baxter's Loch Ness Marathon and Festival of Running. We're in the capital of the Highlands, Inverness, in the north of Scotland, uh, and this is the centre center location for the Baxter's Loch Ness Marathon and Festival of Running. The event includes the Baxter's Loch Ness Marathon, the Riverness 10K, the Riverness 5K, and also the Wee Nessie for under five year olds. We've also got the Baxter's Pasta Party and Expo as well, and there's all sorts of other things going on, loads to do. So we're here at the start of the Baxter's 10K run, two and a half thousand people doing it this morning. Lots of smiles, lots of nervous faces. I think I'll go and find the, the Baxter's team. You've never done a 10K before? So what time are you hoping for? Not to miss the gala. <laughs> Loch Ness is the most iconic body of water in the world. It's internationally famous, as we all know, and that is the attraction that pulls people in to come and experience what Loch Ness has to offer. You're quite near the front, which means you're fast. <laughs> I'm just going to put all my eggs in one basket and see what happens. The event's been running for 15 years now, and in that time, the event has developed from just over 500 runners to over 8,000 this year, which is incredible. They're coming from throughout Scotland, the rest of the UK, and around the world, so it's a fully international event. The marathon starts on the high ground above Loch Ness and drops down to the loch, following the loch side, looking out for Nessie on the way, and finishing in Inverness at Buck Park. 10K runners are starting at the other side of Inverness, and it follows the route down along the River Ness, and then back to the finish and it's a very fast flowing course so yeah it's a great course to run. Neil, well done, a great win. How was it out there? Yeah it was good, yeah so a little bit windier than when I won last year so uh, yeah it was, it was good. I had a bit of uh, I had a bit of soup there the, yesterday so, so that was good. I'm looking forward to my soup later. No excuse for a slow run today. Perfect conditions, nice and cool. Um, so yeah, good, good. Was that a good atmosphere? Great atmosphere. Crowd support, just fantastic. What a great sight to see all these runners having finished the race. They all look very relieved. They've got their medals and now they're picking up their Baxter's goodie bags. Baxter's have been title sponsor for the event since year one and they had the vision to realise that the event had fantastic potential to develop into a world-renowned event as it is now. Without Baxter's support, we would have been unable to ensure that the event was a high-quality event, so that's been absolutely vital. Both Baxter's and ourselves have exactly the same ethos in as far as we want to eat healthily, we want to have an active lifestyle, and we want everyone to have a good life. I find it massively satisfying to organise this event because people experience something very, very special and they've had a great time and it inspires other people to come and run next year. Well, that's the Baxter's Loch Ness Marathon and Festival of Running over for another year and what a day it has been. Thousands of people have sprinted, jogged and walked across that finish line. Hats off to each and every one of them.